Hi everyone. Um, <clears throat> getting some interesting feedback on the video that uh, that I put out yesterday. Um, I thought I'd clarify a few things. Um, obviously, I think I made it pretty clear in that video that uh, there's no predictions involved here. Just questions, observations, um, and definitely things to think about. Um, whether or not anything actually comes to pass in the next two or three months, well, that'll be determined um, in time, I guess. We'll see, we'll see in time. But um, the bottom line is um, we do need to be ready for Christ's coming. Um, there was a comment on my page from someone who did say that they felt um, that obviously, uh, and this, this is not unusual, but they did feel that uh, there is no secret rapture as such. It's just a, um, an event that happens at the second coming. And that is quite a common view. And I can understand that view when you look at the scriptures you can sort of understand it um, by all means but there is a couple of things to be or to at least consider um, one of those is that the bible talks about the day of christ in philippians chapter 2 um, and then it also talks about the day of the lord um, the day of Christ is something that, from how I read the scriptures, the day of Christ is something that we look forward to. It's our blessed hope, which is what we'd see as the rapture. Um, the day of the Lord is going to be a day of <laughs> destruction and judgment. Um, the other thing that you want to possibly have a look at is that um, if you look at Christ's second coming and when he does gather together his people unto himself is what it says in Matthew 24 it's actually the angels that gather the people together from the four winds um, whereas the hapazo of the church the body of Christ um, is Christ calling his people out uh, of this current society or system that we're living in right now. Um, one way or another, time will tell whether or not this is some kind of, um, whether or not these events are some kind of um, whether or not these events are made by design from people here on this earth uh, to try and sort of mimic the Bible and deceive people, well, that may be the case. And um, if that's the case, well, then that's the case. Um, it comes back down to what you believe and how you believe the Scriptures and whether or not you want to say... Uh, and whether you want to recognise really a difference between the church, the body of Christ, saved by grace through faith, and whether or not you want to believe whether or not God will deal with Israel again in the future as a nation. Um, in my opinion, God deals with Israel in the future. That's why the Bible refers to a time of Jacob's trouble, a time where an antichrist deceives them for seven years or at least for half of that seven year period um, and I just can't per I, I, I personally can't see there's a noisy dog next door but I can't I can't personally see how, how the church the body of Christ that is saved by grace through faith 
would go through a time of tribulation, a time of Jacob's trouble. And look, if we've got it all wrong, if I've got it all wrong, um, well then I've got it all wrong. But um, again, it all depends on how you want to read your Bible and whether you read it dispensationally or whether you just read it from Matthew through to Revelation as though everything applies to us today, um, which is a totally different topic. But um, it will be interesting to see what happens um, in Australia by sort of Thursday night through to Saturday is the ninth of Av in the Jewish calendar. Um, there is talk about 10 kings being appointed into the BRICS nations, which will be a very strong economic power. That's predicted to happen next month. Look, it might not. Um, there might only be six kings or seven kings. There might be 15 kings. I don't know. Um, time will tell. Um, but it's an interesting... It's an interesting topic and uh, it's definitely well worth researching. There's a lot of good information out there online, looking at both sides and um, ultimately the truth will come to the surface one way or another. One truth that I can be certain of is that, um, that God is very real, that Jesus is very real, that he came here on this earth for a purpose and that was to save sinners. And uh, again, it comes back to the gospel in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 to 4, particularly verses 3 and 4, that Christ died to pay for sin, that he was buried in the tomb, and three days later he rose again, according to the scriptures. And that was for our salvation. None of us are good, none of us are righteous, none of us can do it by ourselves. Christ has given us an opportunity uh, to believe in his gospel and it's my view that he will take us out so that he can deal with the remnant or the, the, the remain the remaining or whatever you whatever uh, that's probably not the right terminology I actually call them the remnant but uh, to deal with Israel um, which was set aside. I mean, it's Romans chapter 11 talks about how Romans, how, how Israel was set aside um, until the fullness of the Gentiles comes in. Um, so yeah, food for thought. I'll uh, love to hear your thoughts. Appreciate your support. Appreciate you watching. All the best.